is nothing too crazy is gonna be it's right there it's gonna have some burpees it's gonna have some lunges it's gonna have some running and it's gonna have some pull-up chin-ups and curls so I'm gonna work the back and the uh, anterior part of your arm your biceps we're gonna have the workout here and then I'm gonna turn the camera to you can see the treadmill when we run we're gonna run for 400 meters or 0.25 on the treadmill a 3% incline nothing crazy uh, we're not trying to compete next week we're just trying to keep this going and starting actually this is one of my first part-time workout in a while we'll see what happened we're gonna start now with some burpees and lunges burpees and lunges for lunging I'm gonna use 45 pounds nothing too crazy and here we go we're gonna put a timer see how long it takes the workout is gonna be two rounds two rounds all right starting with 10 burpees And now we're gonna do 15 lunges each leg. The weight is gonna be on the left side. Switch. I was fifteen. I like these lunges when you race because it works your legs super well, but also your balance. And now we're going for a run. So I'm gonna turn the camera up pretty good. This way. And this is set. 3% incline. And I'm gonna run 400 meters. Or around two minutes. If you don't have to count meters, run for two minutes. I'm setting my treadmill at 3% and I'm putting 6.0 on the treadmill. Like I said, 6.3. I'm not trying to compete next weekend when you're training for Spartan races the majority of your training is going to be in what is called the gray zone so you want to try to hold your performance on that uh, gray zone nothing too crazy and then weeks before the race you increase the intensity so you go good to go for racing Right now, rays are very far away. I've been trying to build strength and start rebuilding my conditioning. Later, 
today I might go for a easy run to relax. It feels good. It's not as speed as over a killer. And then you're able to go back and do the rest of the workout. Let's remember I have to do two rounds of this. Two minutes is fine. If you're running without knowing your distance, if you're running on a track, it's one lap around the track. That's a good distance to be running. 400s, I think, is good for Spartan race. And 400 and 800 are good distances for prepping for Spartan races. That doesn't mean that once in a while you throw some sprints or you don't throw some longer distance too, but you should expand your circuits on 400, 200, 600, and 800. Get good on those zones. And that's it. What's next? Woo. Now, we're going to do the next is 10 burpees and 20 step ups with the 30 pounds. We're gonna be throwing a lot of burpees because you have to lose the fear of them. You have to make them just part of your workout. Now it's 20 step ups. Alternating legs. You gotta get used to those legs to feel fatigue and heavy. At the end of the month, we have a workout, a test. Again, we have the test the last Saturday of each month. Right now, I'm way heavier than I run Spartan races. Way heavier. I'm 163, and I mostly try to run between 152 and 156. I'm now 163. Back to the run. Then we're gonna come back for chin-ups and curls. Muy bueno. It's getting hard to count the 2.5 because I'm gonna run two minutes. It's hard. It's on 0.76 right now. Two minutes. So we stop on 24.45. This workout with transitions help you to go from running and get used to 
go from exercise to running, for upper body exercise to running, for lower body exercise to running, everything to running. So they're very good for you. When I finish my first round, I'm going to give me a little break for water. Then here we go again. This workout should last around 25 minutes, 30, 25 minutes, without counting the warm up and the cool down. It's not a long workout. Like I said before, we're not trying to go for the kill. We'll have a race until, whoo, who knows, maybe April. We'll see. Next year, I'm not going to do as many, but I, have one, I do want to run Vermont. Vermont is a classic. Spartan race is where almost everything started in Spartan. Vermont, beautiful area. Now, we're gonna do chin-ups and curls. We're gonna do the chin-ups, our 10, and the curls are 20. The curls are called hammer curls, alternating arms. I'm gonna do the hammer curls with 25 pounds. So 10 chin-ups. That wasn't too bad. And now curls with the 25 pounds. Camera curls. wasn't too crazy back to running and then, then 10 pull-ups and 10 curls but with the supinate with supination supination grip back to running running in pajamas I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it a little closer right there two minutes I did a simulation a Spartan race on Saturday and possibly it was longer than I wanted. I didn't, I feel okay for not being running as much. Definitely I gas out at the end. So I know I need to work on my conditioning. But strength wise, I feel great. My right shoulders are a little funny now. So, but I've been treating it with Dr. Levi from Dr. Levi Bradburn is my chiropractor. He's moving to a new office pretty soon. And he's been my chiropractor for a long time. Kudos for Dr. Levi Bradburn for taking care of this old machine. The 3% incline feels good actually means my legs strong. People neglect their strength training, but you, your preserve exertion, exertion, when you're strong, is quite different. Doesn't, it doesn't get on your head. You go up a hill and doesn't get on your head. You don't want to stop, you want to keep going. Now, without neglecting, obviously, your conditioning, but it, your part of your base should be strength training too. Runners don't like to strength training. That's why 
I'm not just a runner. I am called what is, I am now what is called a strength runner. So I like to run, doesn't make me crazy happy. I enjoy it, not, but I also enjoy the lifting. So you can see my upper body is not like the regular runner, not even like the regular Spartan racer. I like to be build because I like it. I like to be able to do upper body stuff too at the same level than I do lower body. It just might of taste. Now a huge upper body, it will affect your Spartan race. You will feel a little, little heavy, but I don't care. I like to run like that. Now it's pull-ups and curl. Ten pull-ups and curls. See, no problem with the pull-ups. Now the curls. Supination, 20. I try to move one up and one down without breaking on top or bottom, just go. I was 20, I have to run again, and then it's a little break, water break, Woo. water break pretty good, magic of technology. I do enjoy these workouts with the running in between. I do like them a lot. Now, my hamstrings are extremely sore from yesterday. We did cleans. And now that I'm running, I feel them, feel them. My water break is just gonna be like a minute, 90 seconds, nothing too crazy. Oh, I feel the 163. <laughs> Whew. What it changed mostly my body, my loose on muscle on competition body, but not a lot. I actually try to lean out, try to lose my fat that is doing shit for me when I'm running. Try to run with like 17 pounds of fat, 16, 17, 18 is okay. A little heavy, but between 16 and 17 pounds of fat on my body, I'm happy. How do I know my body fat? I test it on my in-body machine, weekly. Right now I'm 22, heavy, a little fatty. That's possibly like 30% fat. A fatty. My legs feel great. My, actually my, my heart is made in China right now. That's where I feel my conditioning. That I need some work. Water break. So, when I take a little break, this. It's the machine that I use for testing my body fat. Right there. It's free for clients of RepexFit. 
It's incredible. We're gonna restart the workout with the 10 burpees and the lunges. The first round is completed. Try to don't take a lot of water. Just a little bit, a little sip. Now, the first round took us 18 minutes and 30 seconds, so the second round should take similar. We're gonna start again with 10 burpees and 15 reverse lunge with a knee raise each leg. We're gonna start in 15 seconds. Then we're gonna take a little break. Let's go. 10 burpees. more. And now the lunges. Nine, nueve. Eleven. Fifteen. Now I'm feeling the yesterday workout and my first lap, my first round of this. One more. I failed this round. I'm going light to you, now back to running. I felt it, felt it. I felt it. Back to running. Two minutes, or 400 meters, or 0.25. Now I see how my conditioning is de decreasing now. I've been not really running as much, but now is my tilting. I'm gonna start running a little more, increasing my running mileage. Now this year, or next year, I'm not gonna be running too long because it tires me too much. For some reason, my body is like, nope, not like it. So I'm gonna be running mostly short distances, maybe here and there as a 10K. Hey, Spartan 10K, you know? A regular 10K, no problem, it's around 40 minutes. Used to run an air 38, now we'll see. Maybe four upper 40s.
30 seconds. The step ups are gonna be brutal. It's burpees, 10 burpees, 20 step ups. On the first round, we're all champions. On the second round, it's where champions are built. Five seconds. Let's go close. So we see. Grande Roberto Pino. Profe del año. Ahora vienen los step up Roberto. Y los burpees. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Our uh, step ups. Twenty step ups. Joe Satriani on the background. Crowd chanting. Great song, though. Ocho. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, run, we're gonna run in the first chin-ups and curls, vamos que se puede, todavía hay patria, Spartan training for next year's Spartan races, we're on it, for Vermont, Last year, we ran Tahoe. What experience. 44.05. What experience to run Tahoe. My hamstrings are just dead. Done. My quads are fine. I can barely kick. And my cramp. Vamos. Doesn't feel bad at 3%. Feel good. Muscle wise, I feel great. 
Except my hamstring, but I saw him yesterday. My heart made it chai right now. Gotta work on it. Make it a Tesla. Gotta make this heart a Tesla. Fishing. A Toyota. A Toyota. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Abandon chip. Ahora vienen los chin ups y los hammer curls. I like to partner chin ups and f or pull ups and, uh, and bicep because that's what you feel Spartan race. Extreme fatigue on your grip and extreme fatigue on your bicep after work, uh, after obstacles. And then if you have to bucket carry or something, when this start crying, you want to release. So I don't let them cry. I super said the curls and the chin ups can be more on season. I do the chin ups and then the, the curls and then the chin ups to make it worse. You can play with that, but it's more advanced to do the chin ups and then the, to do the curls and then the chin ups. The hands get wet. <laughs> the good about doing the pull-ups on your runnings is that your hands, your grip is wet. So no chalk. Your, your own grip strength. to mimic the race where the hands are muddy. Now, hammer. <sighs> Nothing too heavy, 25 pounds. Long alarm. Now running again. We're gonna come back for pull-ups and curls with supination grip. The anatomic position enjoyment. Come on, Jeff, come back. Here now, back to the running. So bueno. Another two minutes. It's on. All right. To 48, 45. One minute left.
10 seconds. Five. Back. We're going back to the chin, to the pull-ups. Now 10 pull-ups and 20 curls. We're almost done. Hands are wet. Who cares? And now the curls. Under supination grip, 20. Finale with the run. Let's do it. Let's take this champion. We're gonna finish with the run. That's a good song to finish, huh? I must say. Last one, champions. Last run. No run left behind. Two minutes. I like this workout. I'm gonna post it so you can do it if you want to. If you don't have weights for some of the movements, like the lunges, just do a little more. Instead of 15 reps, do 30 each leg. Body weight. If you don't have weights for curls, I do. I hang on the pull-up bar on the top to fatigue my bicep. After I finish, I jump up and hold the top as long as I can. That's what I do when I don't have stuff to do bicep curls. I fatigue my bicep. You can always find a way. The book of excuses is this big. But the book of answers, the same. Ha. Ha. To answer the excuses, you always have an answer. Today I woke up at 5 a.m. to do this workout. Why not? Because I want it. People that are fighting excuses, they don't want it and they possibly own their jobs, they don't want it either. Bueno. And time. That was the workout. I'm gonna post it on this post so you can do it yourself. It was legit. It was a good workout. The next workout is gonna be Thursday, 6 a.m. for everybody who wants to join me for some Spartan training. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>